From WPTZ, this is News 5. Good evening. Hundreds of people hit the streets in Burlington today to celebrate Gay Pride Day. It's been a year of many headlines for the gay and lesbian community. AIDS, violence, and the first prosecutions under Vermont's new hate crimes law. As at News 5's Andy Wormser reports, today's march was a time for celebration and education. About 500 gays and lesbians turned out to say they're proud of who they are. A parade through the streets of downtown Burlington to show the strength of their numbers. Things like this help people to see that we're just ordinary, normal people. But activists say they still have a long way to go to end discrimination and violence against gays and lesbians. Take the military and its ban on homosexuals. Then they quieted down during Desert Storm because we were good enough to go and die, so we're not ready, we're not good enough to serve in peacetime. We're a security risk, is what they said. Bancroft was kicked out of the Army nearly 10 years ago when they found out she's a lesbian. Despite today's turnout, fear is still a major factor for many. The more power we claim, the more attention we get, the more the people who are afraid of who we are will fight back and lash out in the only way they know how, which is usually violence, you know, off in a corner somewhere, in an alley where they can get away with it. This year, a victory of sorts, Vermont's first conviction under the hate crimes law for an attack on a gay man. But no troubles at the events today. At a rally after the parade, Mayor Peter Clavel said there's still lots more to do. We must be very proactive and aggressive in assuring that every one of you out here have the rights that you deserve. Above all, these events were a celebration. Though there are still struggles ahead. These folks want to say they're proud of who they are. Andy Wormser, News 5, Burlington.